not many people know that we've got quite a good collection of material relating to factory records. Um, we've got some material from Rob Gretton, which is to do with the A&R side of the business. And about 10, 11 years ago, we also brought in on loan Tony Wilson's archive from his family. And more recently, we've brought in on loan the, the other half of Rob Gretton's archive, again, from his family. Um, I'd worked a little bit with two curators, John Savage and Matt Bancroft, on the Manchester International Festival exhibition called True Faith, which was about Joy Division and New Order and fans' responses to the band's music. And when the Youth Hearing Protection exhibition opened in London, prior to that, John and Matt had come up to have a look at the archive collections that we've got at the museum here and talked to us about the fact that it seemed a bit strange that an exhibition about the 40th anniversary of a Manchester-based independent record label was being opened in London and that they really wanted to bring the exhibition up to Manchester. So the key difference to what the exhibition was like in London is that it's going to be really focused on Manchester and we're going to be talking about Manchester's industrial heritage, the fact that we were an industrial powerhouse in the past. That industry was declining and new industries were emerging in the city. So from the mid 20th century, Granada was based in the city centre and out of that we had a really thriving uh, music economy. So one of the stories that's going to be different for this exhibition is about the science and technology that is at the heart of the factory story. On the face of it, Factory was an arts organisation, it was a music record label. But actually, science and technology in the form of early electronic and digital technology was a really important thing for Factory and they were pioneers in the use of some of this technology through the producer Martin Hannett. It's a different way of telling that science and industry story. People know us for the kind of the pure science if, if you want to call it that. And this is showing that in the arts, science is also important, technology is important. And it's a way of showing that you might not think of yourself as being science-oriented, but actually science is involved in a lot of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, and it is a fundamental part often of creativity. We can show people a new side of factory. We're focusing in this exhibition on the first five years. So we're showing that start-up period for the record label and it's not the famous story from Blue Monday onwards. It's that really early story and it's a very different story to the one that's usually told.